Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Isle of the Midnight Sun Challenge. I'm Landros and Brandon's up here taking care of his garden, which is exactly what he's supposed to be doing. Uh, of course, we're getting another university welcome kit, which <laughs> I have no idea how many we got. Okay, now before we go any further, Misi, last episode I made the big mistake, I got him confused with my other LP, and I popped her in to create a sim, which of course is going to roll her age back down. And if I look at her, yeah, she's now says she's going to age up in three days. Well, technically she's supposed to age up on Monday night at around 8 o'clock. So, um, I have two choices. I could either just go ahead and accept the mistake and then let her uh, age up in three days. Or I could stick with what we originally had set up and go ahead and age her up tomorrow with the birthday cake. And so I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and use the birthday cake and age her up so we keep her on the same timeline that what we originally had, had decided. So that's my plan. All right, the little girl is fine. She doesn't really need to do anything but just play, which that's working on the skill. And I believe that's the last skill she has to work on before she becomes a child. There's not too much that we can do as far as... Um, um, books to read to her because there's no bookstores in this town and even when we go over to China, France, or Egypt there's no real bookstore books that we can buy for them there I don't believe I may be wrong now somebody said that my windows were in the wrong they were going the wrong way I'm looking I see these two sides were fine let's see over here I know we just that was the xylophone I think those are fine I think you guys were talking about before when I actually had not had them um, when I hadn't fixed this up completely but yeah, my windows should all be exactly the way they should be. I just want to double check and make sure that I'm not mistaken because I kind of thought I had done a really good job of getting them all the right way. Uh, let's see, one last side. Yeah, so, okay, I'm thinking maybe that you saw them before when I was having so much issues trying to figure out how to get this thing to work. And yeah, I don't really use move objects on because I tend to just, I don't know, it's, to me it's kind of a cheat or then, oh man, what'd you get? What is this thing? Collect it. And then let's see. She's stir crazy. All right, we're going to take you downstairs. All right, you're going to go down here and we'll at least let you come over here and why don't you go swim for a little bit? That'll get you out. And then I need to actually get you to. Um, well, we could get the mail, but I'm not going to get the mail yet. Brandon, you're still working on your garden. Um, I don't think these will actually go in the planners, I don't think. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I thought that they were. Um, I thought they had to go in the ground, but I think you can use move objects on and put them in a planner. But again, I don't like to use it that way. I kind of like to just keep it as um, as far from using cheats as I possibly can. All right, little girl's up. <laughs> Where's that dog? <laughs> it's the phantom dog. I love it. All right, she's fine. She's actually leveled up and got the best she can get from all this. So as long as she's having a good time, that's fine. But she's really done. So. She got a rainbow gem? Cool. All right, Brandon, you're not done, are you? No. Is she finished with this moodlet? Not quite. Keep swimming around. I know you're tired. You can't buy a stroller. I wish you could, but you can't. All right. You want to go talk to your daughter? Actually, you need to go snuggle her, and then you need to woohoo with your husband. Well, we got to go do these things before she ages up tomorrow, so not like she won't. You won't have that time. All right, so she's working on athletic right now, and Brandon, you should be working on athletic. But you're going to be leaving sometime during this episode to head on over to China. What I'm hoping to do, though, is go ahead and just age up Misi. And I don't want to age her up until tomorrow. We don't have to wait until 8 o'clock. So you can age her up any time on Monday. So seeing that it's already Sunday at 8.30, I figure what we'll do is we'll let them age her up probably sometime in the morning. And then that way we can go. I don't want to go until she becomes a child. Not that it really matters. But I know what will happen is I will get over there and I will forget to age her up. And then it'll be like, okay, I should have done this, and I won't, I won't remember it. So, you're gonna go ahead and get this thing cut. Um, ooh, a sculptor's egg cut for 175. Man, you know what? I don't want to spend the money on it yet, so we're just gonna hold off on that. But I do want you. Let's see, Brandon. Why don't you stop for a minute? I want to actually see something real quick, just out of curiosity. Um, Layla, go ahead and come on in. Brandon. Where's your, <laughs> where's your multi-tab, buddy? I want to check something out. All right, I want you to just see if you can. Yeah, there's no bookstore, so yeah, you can't shop for books. All right, so tell you what, let's go ahead and go on upstairs, and let's let you finish painting this thing. And oh, what about the little girl? What's wrong with her now? Macy's hungry. All right, Layla, come on over here and feed your daughter. 
go ahead and make sure that you snuggle her real quick and then you can feed her um we can't feed her <laughs> we can't feed our own child that's bad that is really bad why can we not feed our child okay there we go <laughs> tell me maybe I just overlooked it but I thought we couldn't feed her it's like this would not be good all right so once she's actually got her food and she's good um, I'm gonna let Layla go ahead and use the bathroom she ought to go ahead and just take care of her shower and I could have her do another sculpture because she wants to do let's see stop trying to buy a stroller I would just buy one for you and that'd be it um, when you get finished doing all that, you can come over here and you can chat with her and get that wish taken care of. And unfortunately, you can't really do anything with her in the room. Energy-wise, she's okay, but she could go over here and take care of her bladder. All right. You, on the other hand, um, let's see. Yeah, I guess I am going to have to do because you want to make a masterpiece and you want to make a brilliant sculpture. So we got to do that. Um, we could do any of them. We could do ice, stone, metal. I'm doing metal. I'm doing metal because typically the stone, you know, will do what it just did and it'll collapse and it may be worth something. It may not be. All right, Brandon, this thing's almost done. <laughs> you gotta love that house. That's pretty cool. Okay. And your plants, I'm sure you've done pretty well. Now, what I need to do is actually sell some of these death fish that you got and let's see where they are because if I if I use the death fish as fertilizer all your plants are gonna die um, that's 332 for just one okay I was gonna say it had to be more than that alright so we got about 2,000 all total for these guys so that's good alright then what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and um, if you open this thing up you can take your fish out put them in here just use all of them use whatever fish you got can it go in there no can that go in there oh you've already got three of three okay so you're good alright so you're gonna go ahead and keep those in there then you're gonna go ahead and use it I mean your plants are doing really well anyway so it doesn't really matter but you know you've got fertilizer go ahead and use it it's not like you guys are using those fish to eat I mean you could I could actually have you make them I go down here and roast them on the whatchamacallit a little fire pit that we've got. Can you do that? You could. How would you do it? Um, no. I guess you have to uh, actually have it lit before you can do that. Anyway, I want him to do this real quick. I'm going to speed you up because everybody else is fine. I don't even know what your painting skill is up to. Okay, that's worth $37. Not a whole lot, Brandon, but it's, it's okay. Alright, put those fish in there and oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> go sell those. All right. And then we got to take you downstairs and make you go and get. Let's get this taken care of. Use your bathroom. Can you clean it? Yeah. Go ahead and shower. Um, you're kind of hungry. But what I'd rather you do is before you do that, let's go over here. Let's see. How is Misi tired? Yeah, she's kind of tired. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and put Misi in the crib. Layla, are you hungry? You're kind of hungry. He's not hungry at all. Oh, wait a minute. He is kind of hungry. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to send you guys down in just a minute together because you guys you guys have been doing nothing but work and you need to actually have a little bit of fun together. So, Brandon, speed yourself up. Get this done. Before you head off to China, all right, then I'm going to get you to come downstairs once you've done all this. It's 1.30 in the morning and it does not look like it. All right, she's going to go ahead and stop what she's doing. She's going to come over here, and she's going to sit at the fire pit. All right. Oh, <laughs> she's already on her way. She's like, you don't have to tell me twice. All right, tell you what, when you get down there, why don't you go ahead and... Well, I guess you should have actually been the one to light it. So light the fire pit. Brandon, you'll come down and just sit at it. Okay. And then once you're there, you can sit there. I'll let you roast a marshmallow or something while you're waiting on him. Where's the wolf? <laughs> I don't know. Where's that wolf? Okay, now I bet Brandon could probably roast those fish. Let's see. Can you do anything here? Yeah, you could roast one of your fish if you wanted to. Not going to, but that's all right. He's going to come down and roast a marshmallow as well. Did you get your daughter taken care of? 
Please tell me she's in the crib. Oh, good. He did exactly what he's supposed to. All right, so go ahead and come down here. You guys can enjoy a little bit of time, a little bit of adult time while you're here. Brandon, I want to click on you guys. And I, don't, oh, I, hate, I hate the angles that you have to get. All right. <laughs> All right, let's turn this thing on so you guys will get the mood lit for that. All right, let's change this to, um, let's go Andy. And let's make sure our volume is low. Let's get to something we can't really hear. Oh, not that one. All right, there you go, you can't hear it. Oh, I like that song too. All right, so you guys are going to actually um, get a little romantic here. Take your romantic photo together. You haven't done that <laughs> I know you're cold. You're probably both freezing to death over here. Oh, he's with attractive company? I bet she's cold. No, you're not going anywhere, girl. You're not going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. She's like, okay, I'm excited. I don't have to go to bed even though I'm tired. You're really not that tired. All right, Brandon, go ahead and make your move here. All right, do your photo. Oh, that's the perfect spot. There you go. Why don't you guys dance together slow? Before you go off to China, have a moment here together, guys. Come on. You got a fire going. You got music. You're right here with attractive company in the middle of the ocean. You can't beat the view. Come on. All right, go ahead. There you go. Is she leading? <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> that is too funny. Yeah, she's leading. <laughs> Macy's up here like, I'm just so glad I'm asleep for all this. I don't have to deal with it. All right. Yeah, be careful, Macy. They may end up getting your little brother. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, he's not upset. Yeah, you can see their breath. How bad is it as far as temperature? It is 30 degrees. Yeah, you're kind of hurting the guy. Let's see. As far as hunger, you're not bad. You guys could get something to eat. But you want to actually woohoo. There's really nowhere for you to go to woohoo um, unless you want to do it right there with the baby in the room. I don't know if you can. We could try. Why don't you guys go ahead and give it a try? Can you do it? No. Do a heat of the moment kiss after you finish dancing. <laughs> Might as well. That's a university interaction, so gotta love them. Are you guys not gonna finish dancing? All right, now you're done. Okay. Go ahead, Brandon. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's see. Kiss again, and then you guys can actually... Um, why don't you give her some flowers, even though you really don't have the money to spend on all this. I mean, you do, but, you know, you haven't given your wife flowers in a while, and you should. Um... God. Take another romantic photo. He's being very alluring. Okay. There's nothing new yet. All right. Go ahead and kiss. All right. Now you can stroke the cheek, and you can do the things I want you to do. You can embrace. <laughs> Yeah, that poor dog out somewhere in the ocean. <laughs> we have no idea. I right, see there's really nothing else you can do, I guess, because you got a baby on the lot. All right, you're extremely irresistible. You should be able to woohoo now. There you go. Let's see where you're going to go. Maybe you'll do it in the bedroom. Maybe you won't. I have no idea. But I figure you ought to do this before the baby actually um, becomes a child and we have to actually build them a room, which i got to figure out where I'm going to go. All right. All right, well, he knows where he's going to go. I don't know where he's going to go, but he does. And they've got to be freezing. Yeah, well, no, no, that's this midlife crisis thing. So, is she cold? No, they're okay because of the fire, so that's fine. All right, they're going to go to bed. All right, so you can do it while the baby's in there. Okay, as long as the baby's in the crib, I guess it's okay. Yeah, let your wife go first. That would be nice, Brandon. <laughs> All right. 
Now, I guess I should turn this off since nobody really is going to be listening to it out here. And I should have turned that off. But it's probably going to start a fire. So, Brandon, when you get done woohooing, I'll send you back down here to do this. I actually probably won't. I'll forget all about it. I just don't want to mess you up because this is something you want. She wanted to do actually. So, uh, and right there by that nasty um, potty chair. That's okay. Now the the baby could have gone over here and played in this thing, but I don't think we did it at all yet. Yeah, she could have actually played inside. So we actually should do that when she gets up. She is getting kind of dirty. We could we could have somebody take her out and give her a bath since it'll be the last time we can actually use this thing. Okay. Yeah, they are tired, but I think what he needs to do is he needs to go ahead and empty this thing out. I'm going to let him come on down here and turn this thing off. Oh, wait, it turned off already? Good deal. All right, so I guess it does it sometimes automatically. Go ahead and eat something. Um, eat the French toast. You're going to get up, and I want her not to go to sleep. I want her to come over here and let the baby out. Actually, you want to go give, give Macy a bath. And then you're going to put Macy... Um, in the playpen. Actually, no, 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 don't put her in the playpen. Just put her down here. So I gotta wait until you actually do this before I actually have you set her down. Because I want Macy to play for a little bit. Brandon, what was that? I heard that noise. Alright, well. What is that noise? Oh, that's a. <laughs> it's this up here. <laughs> I was like, what in the world is that? Okay, that's fine. All right, so she's actually going to take care of her. Um, let's go ahead and put her down here. All right, and then you can actually go down with Brandon. Let me go find Brandon. All right, Macy. Let's see, I actually ought to clean that up for you. I shouldn't do it for you, but I am. All right, there you go. Layla, go ahead and have some leftovers. Is that bad? I bet you it's bad stuff. Is that what it is? Yeah. You know what? Then just have a quick meal. Have cereal. Brandon, no, 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 no. You're not going to go up there yet. No, you're going to come over here and just have something quick. Don't worry about this nasty food that I keep forgetting about. <laughs> go on downstairs. Alright, well, is she still going to go? No, she's not going to go. Let me get her to set up. So go down here, have a quick meal of cereal. That won't mess you up. You guys should be fine. Macy, I want you to come over here and play in this thing. Play inside there, and then you can play with a toy. And you are kind of hungry, so you know what? I'm going to have Brandon feed you. Actually, yeah, when Brandon comes up, he can give you, a, he can give you some food on the floor. He's probably going to be done pretty quick. <laughs> he didn't even want to sit. <laughs> He's like, all right, I'm not going to go there. I've had bad experiences with food over in that place. Okay, that's all right, though. We got to get them another chair because once she ages up, the little girl's going to want to eat too, and they may all want to eat together. I don't know, maybe not. Let's see, did I do anything downstairs? No. Um, there was something I was going to get for them, and I forgot what it was. I completely forgot. I was thinking about it yesterday, and I thought, when I go play the game, I'm going to do this. And <laughs> you say, oh, look at that! I threw it outside. <laughs> okay, <laughs> gotta love that. Um, yeah, Brandon, I know. See, let's see. Macy, are you playing inside? Oh, yeah, she's playing with her toy. She's playing inside. She's good. I like that little interaction. It's pretty funny. But Dad's coming to give you some food. Actually, Macy, tell you what. I want you to move. I want you to come over here. So that Mom can actually get in the bed. Oh, you're going to get picked up? Is he going to feed? Oh, wait. I didn't know he's going to pick you up. All right, then don't go anywhere. Okay, because Brandon, then I want you. You guys got to go to bed. Yeah, she's actually she needs to pee first. Uh, Go pee. Go to sleep. <laughs> you actually can just go ahead and go to bed. And then Macy, you're up for the day. I think you'll be fine. Um, you do need to go to the bathroom, but you can just kind of do whatever you want to do. And then I'll let you go ahead and play with that. How's that? I think that's a good plan. <laughs> and then we're gonna age you up in a little bit. And then we got to worry about finding you somewhere to sleep, which means I got to either do a lot of building or I got to work on that basement. And, or I could work on that second floor. I don't really know what I want to do yet. It's kind of, mm, it's kind of a toss up. I really don't know what to do. All right. So while they sleep, um, 
it shouldn't take them too long, I don't think. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> they really do have to sleep. How long are you going to be asleep, buddy? Till 8 o'clock? Um, probably not. I'm going to get you up before then. Till 8.30? <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead and speed them up, and I'll be back in just a minute. A little bit closer when they get up, and then we'll, we'll go ahead and age up Misi. I'll try to wait a little bit closer to 8, so it's kind of like what it was. Be back in just a second. All right, we've had nothing but a really bad storm the whole night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get them up real quick because they're, they're not too far off. I'm going to let Brandon go ahead and use the bathroom. Um, he really doesn't need to take a shower, but um, they're all kind of hungry. Um, Macy's kind of got low energy. So what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to let let's see Brandon get up because I, I don't want to do anything until you're ready. All right, you go to the bathroom, and then I'm going to go downstairs. I went ahead and got them the birthday cake. And so, Misi, you're going to go ahead and have, uh, not Misi, Layla, you're going to have Misi go ahead and turn, blow out her candles real quick, which means you're going to have to go pick her up and take her downstairs. <laughs> that's just disgusting. All right, I can take care of that for you, though, because that's, you were actually trying to do something good, so I'll take care of it. <laughs> that was nasty, though. All right, Brandon, you're going to head on down, too? I think he is. Let's see what's he going to go do. Oh, yeah, go down, check out the new object. Well, that's good because that's exactly where we want you to be. So, good deal. So, we won't need any of this other stuff. We're going to actually have to take all of it out. And I could actually put the bed in their room. I could just do that for now and then figure out what I want to do later after he comes back from China, which is probably what I'm going to do. But I'm not quite 100% sure yet. So, all I really want to do is make sure that we get her aged up because this is when she was supposed to age up regularly. It would have been more like 8.30. Brandon, it's your, birth it's your daughter's birthday. How many times is that going to happen? <laughs> Come on. Enjoy the birthday party. There you go. There's only three of you. You can't, you can't afford to actually be antisocial here. Okay, is it on this side? I can't figure out where I get a better angle at. Not like we have a whole lot of room. Yeah, this storm, basically, when I cut out, it started immediately, and it has been going ever since. It has not stopped. <laughs> if you can hear that, that's my weather alarm going off here at home. So <laughs> we're about to have a real storm here, too. That's pretty bad. Hopefully it's not as loud as it is to me, but I kind of got to listen to it and make sure it's not anything I need to worry about. Because you never know. All right. Go ahead, age up, Macy. Let's get this thing, get this show on the road. Oh, yeah, we got a bad storm coming, so I may lose power. I don't know. I better start saving my game a little bit closer when I think it's going to happen. Okay. So, due to our excellent parenting skills, we can choose a trait for Macy, for Macy to develop. Well, you know we can't do it. Um, so, we have to do this all randomly. So, everybody, hold your breath. <laughs> for a heavy sleeper and a slob, what else are we going to get? probably insane a dog person okay well we don't have a dog but she's a dog person so all right now let me take a look at you real quick okay she's got more of her mother's look you can tell she's got her mother's nose I can't really see her right now yeah she looks a lot a lot like her mother I mean, almost identical to her mother. Just, I think she has Brandon's hair because Brandon, believe it or not, his hair is not black. It's actually brown, I think. I think it is. All right, I should have gotten you guys a, a chair, but at least you've got that chair. Poor Layla. She can't even eat dinner with the rest of the family. That's all right. So now I could sell all this stuff up in the inventory, but I'm not going to. Oh, you want to flirt with somebody else? Nah, it doesn't matter to me if you have a... Um, midlife crisis you don't really doesn't really bother me you are going to kiss your wife before you go so I'm going to lock I thought I locked it in oh <laughs> all right and what do you want to buy a car um I can't buy that one because it's too expensive oh yeah little girl she's tired all right tell you what why you guys are all going to be crazy and drive me nuts let me go ahead and put this in the inventory okay this you don't need okay this you don't need and this you don't need okay I think everything else uh, you don't need this either so everything else we can leave out because she could still play with this dollhouse she really can't get anything out of that one so I'm gonna get rid of that too and I don't think she can get anything out of this one either so there we go she could still play with the toy box and there's other things but I'm gonna wait until they get the wish so we actually can get the points for it but let's look at beds as far as a bed for her 
Um, I have a whole bunch of sets that I ought to look through. There's a back to school set, which would be kind of cool. Um, mm, game time. Where's my kids set? I think I've got a whole bunch of stuff for kids. Let's see. That's hairstyles. There's a nursery. Um, I already used that one. Mm. Let's see. Let's go with Critter Comforts because it comes it comes with a lot of stuff for her. And it's more for a girl. So I'm going to go with um, whatever bed this is. I don't know what the bed gives you as far as your um, sleep levels and whatnot. But it's okay. We're just going to use it for now. Okay. Put that bed there. And then I'm not going to worry about the rest of it until we actually decide what we're going to do with her room. So I'm going to let her come up here. Um, Macy, are you that tired? Oh, yeah. Let's get you upstairs and get you to the bathroom. So go up here. Use the bathroom. And then you can go ahead and go to sleep. Layla, you're washing dishes. Wait. Watch out, woman, because your husband's coming over. He's going to kiss you real quick. And I'll take care of this cake, which is fine. And then you guys are fine on energy. I'm going to actually go ahead and send Brandon over to China because he's not getting any younger. <laughs> he's got 23 days, so he has to worry about that. But still. And then, of course, I think there's probably some stuff. we got to pay bills. So, Brandon, before you leave, go ahead and pay the bills so we don't lose that money. He's got to learn um, martial arts and everything, so we got to get him out there and get him going. So, all right, you did that. Go pay the bills, Layla. You and Misi take care of yourselves. Take care of the island, because we're actually about to head out of here. We're gonna head on over to China. So let's go ahead and get him set up to travel. All right. And we've got about 6700 so we're good. We'll have enough money to buy all the things we want to buy in China. Um, we'll buy, I mean, most everything we want, I'm sure. I don't think there's going to be too much that we have to worry about. Now, he does have the um, the trait that gives him an extra day, and he's the only one that gets to go. And he only gets to pay, only has to pay 1000 for it because we have that, um, that reward. So that's good. All right, we're going to head on over to China, and this is a good deal. All right. So you get to take a break from the island and you get to see other things. I'm going to go ahead and cut out of here. I'll be back when they actually are arriving in China. All right. Well, here we are arriving in China. This is my favorite part, actually, just the flyover. I like just seeing it. It's pretty cool. I wish it would give you this every single time you came, but it only gives it to you the very first time you come in any of your games. So it's all right. We're going to get Brandon set up and have him go start on some adventures. And yeah, I am going to do the tombs because this is how he's going to make a little bit of extra money. And it's only opportunity to do it is while he's here. Since we don't have to worry about trying to find a wife or anything, we're just going to go ahead and get started right away. His um, needs and everything should be pretty good because they tend to actually get reset when you travel. So he should be fine. All right. We got our award for traveling. All right. Let's see. Yes, we're seeking adventure. That's what we want to do. And we want to go ahead and report in. Now, I need to go ahead and make sure if there's anything in here that we want. He'll probably get, I'm not going to buy any of that. He's going to get the reach level one um, visa in just a little bit. You want to see her be a genius? Well, I hope you can, but I'm going to actually wait until you get back home before we start doing any of this. Uh, you're close to that, and that's 1000 And how much is that? That's only worth 400 mm, Do I really care about it? Not really. But until you have something else, I don't really want to go visit the temple. I mean, we will have to eventually, but man, that thing drives me nuts. It's so far out of the way, and it's it's got one of the most ridiculous tombs. It's got some cool stuff in it, too. I do want to go there because it's got the, the axe that we want, but still. All right, so here we go. Treasure Hunter. Thank goodness someone finally responded. Come on, there's work to do. I've heard rumors that a nearby tomb holds a valuable treasure. Retrieve it for me, and you will be handsomely rewarded. You'll need this key to get into the tomb. What are you waiting for? Get to it. All right. Nothing like being demanding. <laughs> so this is the easiest tomb you'll ever get. Uh, <laughs> you're just attractive, lady. You really are. You're a gem. Okay. Um, yeah, it is the easiest tomb of all the countries that you'll get to because there's really no danger. There's nothing to worry about. You're not going to get trapped by anything major. Um, so, yeah, I like it. But if you're going to do world adventures, and some of you probably have it and maybe you don't use it very often or some of you may have never gotten it yet 
Um, I love this one. I love this expansion pack because of all the stuff you can do over here. But you always want to start with China and try to work through China at least until you get the axe. And once you get the axe, then you can go travel to the other countries and you'll be okay. But if you don't get that axe, it makes it very difficult, if not impossible, to do some of the other tombs in the other countries. So China's your best bet. Plus, you got to learn the martial arts anyway uh, if you want to defeat the mummies. I mean, you, yeah, you can always get the mummy snacks and that kind of does it. But I think it's a lot more fun to actually go over and um, fight the mummy and then you actually end up killing him. So I think that's more fun than just letting him attack you, get a snack, and walk away. All right. This is, of course, a glitch that you always get. Um, the music doesn't actually lock up. It all just kind of freezes for a moment. But it's all right. Now, most of the time in the tombs, I would read every sign or everything that happens. And, like, there's a little plaque here. I would read it. But this one, there's no reason to. It just basically says you should have a tent, dried food, and um, basically just the basic stuff. And a shower and a can. It's not anything that you really have to have. So what I do is I just go ahead. This one is super easy. You do need to actually keep looking at these things because you're going to actually be asked. It's going to tell you what you can do. Like right now it says find a hidden door. Once you see that show up, you know there's a hidden door somewhere. So I go ahead and just keep an eye on that. Try to lock those things in when I get to them. Because you're just throwing away points if you don't. But I tend, sometimes I forget and I don't actually use them. and Or I forget to actually lock those things in. Alright, you're going to go ahead and move this thing. Just push it one and then you'll be able to stand on this. There are no hidden doors or anything in this side. Normally you run your cursor along here to see if it changes. But I've done this tomb so many times that you know I don't ever really have to worry about thinking in this one. It's a very simple one. Now one thing you can do, if you have the multi-tab, you can have him listening to a, a, any kind of tab cast and you can be leveling up a skill. But like I said, I'm trying to actually get away from that and so I'm not really going to have him listen to anything. It just gives us something to work on, and it's not just super easy for him to do. All right, you go ahead and stop. We're going to clear this rubble out real quick. Now, he could have actually stopped, I believe, one further or one closer, and he could have gotten, gotten around it. But I love that music. Now, this is where he's going to find um, the hidden door eventually, but he's also going to scratch his bottom. <laughs> he always does it. It makes me laugh when he does. But you go ahead and if you have that axe that you'll get eventually, this is done in just like one swing. But right now it takes him a while. Scratch your booty. Go ahead and do it. No, you didn't do it this time. Sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Alright, see. Here comes the hidden door. Stomp on that thing. <laughs> There's your door. Alright. Two things get hidden or get unlocked. The door and then that little thing right there. Now before, I used to actually go in here and I used to try to change all these um, statues and move them out of the way. I didn't realize he could slip right through there and get to them. You don't have to move a single thing here. You just go right over here, <laughs> click on them all, and he's done. Most of the time you do have to actually get them out of the way. But in this tomb, you don't. So that was kind of like one of the things I had to learn after playing this for so long. Alright. Now I did do something with... Um, one of my games, this is the game that I'm not recording. It's one that I'm playing on my own. My guy is a traveler, but he's also getting ready to go to university. So I was happen having him work on his rebel skill, and he was working on street art. And I had him come over here into the, uh, into the tomb, and he was just uh, tagging every wall, and he was spray painting it. And I didn't realize, but you can get arrested in China. And he did. He got arrested. The cops came right in the middle of the tomb. They made him come out of there with the handcuffs and everything. I was laughing so hard because I did not expect that to happen. I thought this would be just an easy way to you know, do it and not get caught. But, yeah, he got caught, and he got fined. <laughs> I was a little upset with that because we needed the money. Now, if you got a brave sim, this is not a big deal. And we do have him. That's why I made him. Uh, oh, I didn't make him brave. Oh, man, I thought I did. Usually, if he's not brave, he won't put his hand back in there. But, like, if he gets caught with a trap, if he's a brave sim, he'll go ahead and redo it. It doesn't matter. All right, always when you see these things, you want to go ahead and, and explore. The option to get soaked is only if he catches on fire. Then you can come over here and you can have him put himself out. But, yeah, you always want him to go ahead and explore it. And then it's going to ask you if you want him to return to the surface or, you know, swim through the tunnel. And you always want him to go through the tunnel. So he's actually down at the bottom, doesn't have much breath left, and he's scanning the area. That means he's about to find some way to get through. So yeah, swim through the tunnel. 
he comes out on this side and then of course you're going to get another chest to open but yeah I always do that because you never know it actually can bypass some things sometimes you have to do that otherwise you're not going to get through it alright so you go ahead and open up this chest and then you're going to explore it again are you stuck <laughs> you don't know what to do alright it's not like I haven't done this enough okay go ahead and take this key and that the star key is actually what he's going to use right here so he's been looking for that one and we're almost done right behind this door is the last of this entire tomb and we haven't gotten anything over here I've been watching there's been nothing I was hoping there was one that said fully explore the tomb which didn't because we're just about done alright there's shards of glass in the water okay there's bones everywhere he's searching amongst the remains he's going to come back through this again so come on swim through the tunnel yeah go ahead and go through the tunnel now I can go ahead and put the keystone in and yeah if you have a tab cast going on you can actually still go through these things and he's still listening to it while he's swimming so it doesn't actually knock you out of it so if you have that just go ahead and use it but like I said I'm just kinda holding off on it I feel like I rely on it too many times and I don't know I just kinda like sometimes to do it without alright obviously that's the one we need but we're gonna go ahead and open up all of them okay so of course this is actually let's see we got a Chinese snake statue cool and we got some gold um, I think those are ancient the ancient coins which I don't do a whole lot with I mean I do eventually once we actually have a lot then I'll actually use them with the special merchant and we'll buy other stuff but for right now it's not that big of a deal this is the thing you're looking for in world adventures you want to get nine of them here in China so and I always go through and try to find all of them I try to make sure I get the whole collection you have a collection journal in here and actually an adventure journal and that's the one that you want to actually it's one of the things that you have to go find that's why I love world adventures because you have all these things that you have to get done and you can just keep checking them off your list to make sure you get it all finished and sometimes it gets frustrating but it's alright All right, go ahead and deliver this relic in and let's see if we can get this done energy wise you're fine um, when you get finished with this I am gonna send you back to the market before we get another adventure because I know you're about um, you're about ready to wrap this adventure up but I do want him to go actually we could do it while we're here now and then we don't have to come back so tell you what let's do that we're already here at the market so go over here real quick and let's visit the market I have bought a house here you can buy them after you get a level 3 visa I normally buy that house right there or this house right here <laughs> they're both identical so I buy them and it's just centrally located and you can get to anywhere you want to get to but the problem is by the time you get to that visa level you've done all the adventures and so it's like you come over here and the only thing you have to do is just kind of just waste your time so I don't know sometimes I wish you could just oh well, I know you can cheat and you can do it that way alright go over here and I want you to go this way go use those stairs because I know I want you to get over there the one we want to get to is this last one all the way on the end and Brandon I need to go with you alright so we're going to this register right here I know I've got the weirdest angle possible and I want you to buy some stuff this is what we were saving our money for <clears throat> normally I would not buy the training dummy because I would say you know once he's learned the skill he doesn't have to use it but since we're gonna need it for the other generations I figure let's go ahead and buy all of it now and we'll just load him up on a few things alright come on okay now we could buy some of this high quality dried food which would be okay but I'm just gonna buy a few of these shower in the cans maybe about three of them for now he's gonna buy the camper or the tent um, which it is a camper this is what we want we want this incense holder I could get the fireworks but I'm not really crazy about it it doesn't really do a whole lot it's kind of a waste of money uh, we do want this one we do want this one and I am do I have enough money for it yeah I do all right we are gonna buy the chest we spent almost all of our money <laughs> all right gotta love that okay and yeah you can hear my weather alarm going off so I probably ought to start thinking about doing something to keep me and my computer safe uh, let's go ahead and deliver the relic and at least get that done before we leave and then I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up in just a minute actually you know what I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I lock in one more adventure before we go cuz you know you never know what will happen okay so we are down to only 645 simoleons so we have spent some money but we're about to get paid for this and I think we only get about a hundred or five hundred I don't think we get a whole lot for this first adventure I mean it's not like it's that big of a deal anyway 
but we don't have to buy anything else. Oh yeah, we do. We got to buy re uh, recipes and um, oh man, what else do we have to buy? Oh, there's something else we got to buy too. Oh, the fishing books. So yeah, we've got a few other things we got to pick up, but I don't think we'll have to worry about it. We'll actually, we'll do it eventually, but if they don't get them this trip, then somebody else will come and get them later. But he's going to do enough adventures that we should have some money. I'm not going to worry too much about the martial arts skill while we're here, since we can do that back home. So that'll keep us um, from actually wasting a lot of time there. All right, how much did we get? We got 500. All right, so he's going to go ahead and head on home, lock in a new adventure. We got 35 visa points. Let's see, what did we get here? You wanted to buy the you wanted to buy the fireworks? Nah, it's a waste of money. Buy something worth 250. We just did. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Yeah, you just do something and then they tell you, oh, go do this. I'm like, I just finished it. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Go ahead and get on over here and let's see. I see the adventure board, so I want to. I don't want him to go all the way up, so I want to lock him, have him stop, and then just go check for another adventure. Cross your fingers because there's one that I want. I don't think he'll get it, but there's one that I definitely would like to get right now. But I think it's the Dragon's Maw that we're going to end up with. That's typically what I get. You there, stranger. Yeah. So, yeah, we got the same one that I always get. All right. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to lock that one in because that one's actually a pretty decent one. And I'll send him over there. Um, he's got enough food, I think, in his inventory that he'll be okay. I think he's got maybe two or three. And then, of course, he's always got this fish. He, he's got the fruit he can eat. So it's not like he's going to really be starving for food. Plus, he can actually sleep in the tent. So we may not actually be going to the base camp anytime soon. And that's all right with me. We just want to try to get as many adventures done as we can while we're here. That way, it's um, it's going to be worth our time. The problem is, is when the, when the children come, they're not going to have any of these easy adventures to do they're going to be stuck with all the really difficult ones so they're going to need to make sure they have the martial arts skill done and be prepared when they first head on over so Misi's going to have to get going on that and I don't know which country she's going to travel to I really don't she has to choose between one of the three so it really just kind of depends on what we do and I'm kind of thinking that um, I don't know maybe she'll go more to the Egyptian one but if she does she's still going to need the martial arts so she's going to have to work on that I don't think she can work on it till she becomes a teen, if I'm not mistaken. But that's all right. Now you got to watch this road right here because a lot of things will spawn, and he can actually collect a lot of things right here. But for right now, it's not too bad. All right, he's about at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and stop the episode here. And when we come back, we're going to enter this cave, and we're going to start on this next adventure. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.